on Thursday morning, 2.37 a.m., I, ha I had a call from my sister that he passed away hmm. while he's sleeping. And I was, I was just like, what? And she said, yes. To take us about 20 years, or more than that, to get a replacement, or somebody who will act like him. I'm trying to act like him, but it's not easy. Because he's somebody who he doesn't care about money. Then guy amaka wani magana day. Then bake aiki de shiba kasa nchi wa kasa mpuru nchi ba yonko ulu kachi. Se ye che minu wai inde ne kia banjena e kara tu de gebeni banda gira wushi na sam gira larbawa. After ten years, she buys she car a woman. Now, so na niman, he began a chicken tafu, but then he went to Magana ba or lie. Gaskia kuani buy na jimu na jina kara tu na zubeke ten years ba. We mama na magana chicken tafu, what are you suggesting we aiki deshi? When you ask him about money, if he have it, he will give it to you. If he doesn't, he will say a word. A nice word to you to motivate you, but that doesn't mean that if you got the money, he won't give it back to you. As soon as you got the money, you call you. On this date, you asked me for this amount, and I couldn't get it for you. But today, I think I have it, so come for it. Usually, when I go to sleep, I turn off my phone. I put my phone on on silent. But that day, I had my phone on loudspeaker. I don't know why I did that. And I had my phone right next to next to me. I didn't even know why I did that. So 2:30, one ring, my eyes was open. And and I remember it was Thursday because I was getting I was ready to go to work. So 2:30, I just 2:37, sorry. I heard my phone ringing. I just answered the phone. I saw my sister's name. I was shocked. Honestly, I was shocked because she nobody calls me 2:37 from from Ghana. So when I answered the phone, it was her, and she, she just gave me the news, and I was... Become successful in this Islamic studies without, tar, without going through tiredness. Subhanallah. So could you imagine when he said this to me, immediately I reflect that indeed, I have been going more in search through in different, in different countries, just like I, I said in previous words that have been passing through country only because of the knowledge. So when I when we discuss that time, up to now this is in my head that you will never become successful without going through tiredness. But this tiredness show that indeed this is a sign for you to show that the future you are a great person, inshallah. Only if you know your max up and you know your aim that what you been in that country for, indeed this is fear this Osman Walandu Yamin Baban and Fani Achikana. I am finding the image of the machine in nine years. I am the mutani quarry, but then when I am the mutani, they open some problem. They so San Nebu Yabo in Nima, another moon to a chicken. I am a yo Kuba Komi and a chimney in Mademi, Kumana search in Fasali and Guadakara too. Kuma Nai Koko, the she dewa, I wouldn't go the Kara too. San Kuma, I wouldn't buy the lecture and Niki chicken project. We had plans to have a farm and um, we have a lot of project together because I always ask him about business ideas and he always tell me before you can have a business make sure you look for the problem around you when you see the problem then you find a solution for the problem so I used to tell him yeah, I keep looking, but I can't find any problem. So if you have anything in mind, just tell me. And he said, as a lecturer or, or as a teacher, he's not going to tell me what to do, but he will tell me to look for the problem. Because if I look for the problem, I will get the solution for the problem. It means he keeps the promise well. It will take us back, but you know, we love him much, and frankly speaking, 
it will take me about a lot of years in order to be in his shoe. Although I'm in his shoe now, trying to act like him, but the job is not easy. It's not easy at all. It's not I miss one great thing, which is his, his lectures and with his dawa, his teaching. This is the great thing I miss. As usually on Sunday, the masjid where I, where I stay, he used to come, he used to come there every Sunday and giving lectures and he stopped in Surat and Safat, mashallah. And could you imagine sometime whenever doctor saw me that I sat in the masjid, even if he is giving lectures, even if, it, if he is translating in Hausa, in, in, in that lectures or in that translating, he can mention they are English or Arab because he know that there is someone here then which is one of my students that he can't listen Aousa, he can't hear Aousa or he can't understand Aousa, but he can understand English and Arab. So for this, he mentioned Arab or English. Be close with them. And then we spoke, he called me like 2 p.m. So later in the evening, I called my little sister around like 6 p.m. I would say Ghana time. He called me, I called her and he answered her phone and we talked a lot. And I was surprised because he always, he always in a busy attending people because every time you call him, he's busy with meetings, people coming to him for questions, for family problems, everything. So by that Monday, we were so close, we talk a lot, even though we usually talk every day, once mm. or twice in a week, mm. we talk every day and we, we always talk. Mm. But this time it was something special.